because my left hand signature looks just like the right. Army Captain Kerry Duvall lost his hand serving in Afghanistan. For a man who is a CrossFit athlete, teaches yoga, and wanted to continue his military service, a basic prosthetic wouldn't do. Interbrain Robotics, a division of BrainCo, an artificial intelligence startup that has developed a prosthetic hand which gives the user more control over individual finger movements. BrainCo develops brain-machine interface technology, which is just a fancy way of saying we develop technology that connects your mind to the world around you. Brain Robotics is testing their robotic hands on about 70 people around the world. Captain Duval is one of the first in the United States. I think we were on the phone just about every day, or at least a Skype call, to kind of get the fitting right and get all the components fitting together, and you know, now here we are. Captain Duval says when it comes to speaking with strangers, his robotic hand has returned a bit of normalcy. It's a lot easier to break the ice if somebody says, hey, cool robotic arm, you know? Little kids absolutely love the robotic hand. You know, uh, older people feel a lot more comfortable with it. And it's, it's nice to be able to uh, kind of be able to breach that barrier and talk to people and be able to show people that like, we're just a regular dude, I've just got a robot hand. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.